when it comes to humanitarian response. What role can the private sector play? The number of crises and the impact of these crises is only increasing. One of the paradigms we at MasterCard, I think, are most interested in seeing is the transition from the perception of private sector as a source of dollars or funds for humanitarian causes to a set of organizations that really have expertise and skill sets to offer and deliver. If we can try and move that narrative from charity and aid to more investment, which ultimately leads to stronger societies, so that sort of narrative can have uh, an impact on at least the psychology behind how businesses look at these challenges. Are there solutions in the business community and can we bring those solutions closer to the problems? I think the traditional humanitarian systems of humanitarian organizations and states trying to cope with system failures is not working anymore. So we need the support, the cooperation, the innovative capacity of business in order to help cope. In Kenya, we have some of the largest refugee camps in the world. So you take the dub which has over 300,000 refugees. We decided to put up a cell site. Now, Dadaab turns out to be our highest revenue earning city in Kenya. We have a thing called Instant School Network, where we've put into the camps tablets, free Wi-Fi, a solar charging, and content. If you want those children to have a future elsewhere, you had better educate them. In the case of a disaster, how can we use our skills and our technology to help connect the humanitarian community? So we work together with World Food Program, we work within the emergency telecom cluster of the UN, and we deploy equipment and people in order to set up internet and telecom capabilities. In partnership with the World Food Program, we actually deliver digital aid to over two million Syrian refugees in Jordan and Lebanon. The vehicle that we're using is a prepaid card. World Food Program will work via an NGO and will typically then deposit funds onto that prepaid card. It not only solves the sort of points in time crisis, but frankly it starts to build economic infrastructure that can start to build to economic resilience. When you consider that in most of these fragile countries in the developing world, SMEs make up 80% you know, of job creation. We have an idea to create a virtual hub to link humanitarian institutions and small businesses, and the project's called SMEs for Humanity, or SME for H. The unintended consequences of aid not delivered as efficiently as it can, can be devastating for SMEs. I think the humanitarian response will be less reactive because we have information which is available, which helps us to anticipate when these challenges will be coming. But you can start to predict a drought simply by looking at the number of data points. I believe the humanitarian crisis will continue forever. I mean, it's always been there. It's just that they're getting much, much bigger. Let's use our smarts to be able to anticipate it and then to have a more informed kind of response to it.